Hey guys, this is LegoFan2226, aka Adam, coming in with another review. Again, Star Wars set, and just saying I will be doing a lot of Star Wars sets. Um, yeah, because, yeah. Um, we got the Battle of Naboo, set number 7929, ages 7 to 12. And then you can see new Jar Jar Binks. And Gungan Soldier. And then you got a picture of them. Eight battle droids. Two droid pilots. Jar Jar and a Gungan Soldier. So that's a 12 minifix. And then on the back. Just shows you a few features. And then the T6. Which I might be doing a review of soon. Because um, I, I picked up this set. And a few other ones. Which included the T6. With a friend at Chadston. So it comes with you. Okay. So this is it. Um, I didn't put all the battle droids out here. Because I put them over there. But I'll start off. The droid pilot. Or I'll just do this. Um, that has the new sort of. Again. Torso. But then otherwise, it's your normal battle droid, and there's one also there. Then just normal battle droids. Don't really need to show you. And I put the rest up there. Then here we have our new Jar Jar Binks. Um, just some, just a cool fact. Last time, like a Jar Jar, like Jar Jar or Gungan soldier were in a. Um, set was in 1999, and I'm pretty sure that was the Gungan sub. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. So anyway, it's got the sticking up eyes, torso, and what? I'm not sure. It's a bit weird, but it's actually a double printed torso. Just like you can see these, just like yeah. Then the head. Is awesome, hard. I'll just show you. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But it is actually pretty hard to get on it off. Look, so you have to. So that's the. That's just a bit hard to get it off. Now the Gungan soldier, different head to Jar Jar. Got the sort of black little mark on the top. Same back piece, again a printed torso, double printed torso. And what's cool about this, so like the arms, as you can see, it's sort of like a peach colour. So that's nice. Yeah, I'll just, now we got sort of the uh, shield. This is really cool, they remade it, it's purple now, um, like see through purple. Really nice. It's got some gold on it. As you can see, it's shining. Then the back. And that can easily go on. Uh, I'll show you on the Gungan Soldier. So, there. So, that's a nice thing, which is pretty sweet. Then it also comes with this sort of staff thing. Um, in the movie... Oh yeah, just to add, this is like a new um, Phantom Manor set, and yeah, so there haven't really been many Phantom Manor sets, so I like this one, it's really good, I, I remember this scene when the droids are, or the separatists are going into battle with the Gungans, and there were also some MTTs and AATs and all that sort of stuff. So these are the blue things that the Gungans threw to like sort of, I don't know, like kill the droids or something. So just, yeah, that helps there. And then for Jar Jar, sort of a little plate or tray which has two of the blue things. So that's a minifig. Onto the actual or hover droid, droid carrier. Also, just before, this is also a remake set. The old one was called, like, 
it was just called uh, Droid Carrier or something. But yeah, Droid Carrier. So now it's Battle of Naboo. Oops, let me just put that back on. Okay, so I'll just say when you're putting in the pilot, it's a bit annoying because they're really flimsy. So, like, you yeah, can't even get it in now. Yeah, they're always like moving their legs and stuff, so it's really hard. But then there's a light. That can go up and down. And this thing is meant to go up and down. Yeah, scroll. I'll just show you quickly. You can't see that happening, but yeah, it does. Then this is where the pilot goes. Then you can, I, I just use it to put the other pilot there. Now the main feature onto the main feature of this awesome set. Over here, the droid carrier part. So, as you can see, oh, just before, this is just the design all around. This was really easy to make. I built it in, like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes. Pretty easy. Okay, so you just push it out. And then you have your droid carrier. And you can see, oh god, right over here, that's how you connect it because down here, that connects. So, um, it comes with eight guns, and then these holes here just, that's how they carry them. And then you can, I'll take everything off it. Um, I'll just show you, that's how it looks um, when the carrier isn't on it, so it looks a bit weird, like skinny or something like that, yeah, so this is the carrier, when it's empty, um, it was easy, fun to make, and this is the bottom one. Just pop that out like so, and what, how to fold your droid, so you put him on the stand, you fold his head like that, him down like that, and then his two arms down, then you do that for all of them, yeah, so that's the carrier, and then as I told you, the guns go here, Eight of them just scattered around. And then this can go back on. And then I'll show you. It just, it's a bit hard to slide in. Slides in like that. And then you can see it just clip in. And yeah, so it can sort of move, but. It doesn't fall, so that's pretty cool. So this has been a Re Lego Star Wars review of Battle of Naboo. It's a great set, you should go out and get it. In Australia, it's pretty pricey. Oh, actually, I think it's, they could bring it down a bit, but in Australia, it's $50. I reckon they can bring it down to like $40 or something, 35 But still, it's a great set, fun to build anyone can build it and yeah so thanks guys remember to rate comment and subscribe thanks guys bye